Hi, it's Jake from Divectures, and today we'll be answering the question, which black tip should I buy? Helping me out today is Aaron Moser from the Divectures and professional scooter tester. Hi, my name is Aaron. Uh, yeah, I'm an underwater explorer and filmmaker, and I've been working with Divectures to help develop uh, and test a lot of their products. I've been diving the uh, different black tips in the lineup, and, as well as the piranha scooter. Awesome. Let's get started. So the first scooter we're going to be looking at is the Black Tip Travel. So the Travel was kind of the original Black Tip that uh, Dive Extras came out and asked me to test it. And, you know, primarily the thing about it is the size. It's absolutely tiny by scooter comparisons, but it still has the full, you know, full power motor. You know, the, the two batteries, you can do up to two 12 amp hour batteries. So it has a lot of runtime and power potential uh, built into it. You know, if you're, if you're looking for that lightweight uh, scooter, I think this one's about five pounds lighter than the, uh, the, next, uh, the next scooter in the lineup. So that makes a difference. If you're packing this thing down the beach, um, the travel is gonna be the smallest and lightest. So to be able to carry it into the water, out of the water, uh, as far as room on the boat, all that. What I really like about the, the really compact size for uh, both travel and local diving, with travel obviously it breaks down very small. You can put it into a suitcase and take your scooter with you wherever you're going in the world. Uh, for the diving that I do uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, still having that power, but having that power in such a small compact size when I'm down there filming uh, or doing other underwater activities aside from just a dedicated scooter dive, I like being able to just have that scooter clipped off behind me, it's out of the way, I don't feel it if I'm filming, I can operate my camera without having the scooter in my way, um, and just uh, it makes for a very, you know, very user friendly and very versatile scooter platform. Um, you know, there's a lot of people might know the travel style floats in a nose up trim. So if you were just let it go, it floats nose up. That does make it a little bit more uh, of a steeper learning curve for people that are just starting out in scooters. Some of the students that I've taken out on this thing, I uh, pick it up instantly. Some of them take a couple dives to kind of get used to the, uh, uh, the trim. When you're actually scootering with it, you don't feel it at all. The toe cord pulls tight and it stays kind of locked into that horizontal position. But as I was talking about for uh, using this as a filmmaker, um, having that kind of be able to float up, out behind me, away, uh, is actually kind of an asset, uh, as well as just the, uh, as I mentioned, the overall uh, very compact size. Awesome, so who, what kind of divers or diving would you say that this scooter is kind of geared towards or would be most suitable for? Well, I mean, as the name implies, uh, travel especially, that's that's kind of a given. And, you know, for just about anybody else in regular recreational diving, and I would say, you know, it's, it's a, a good for either your first scooter or even, you know, for particular situations as a, as a more advanced scooter. All right, so now we're taking a look at the Black Tip Tech version. So the Tech was the uh, kind of the next one that Dive Extras came out with in the Black Tip line. It uses the same same motor, same drive. You know, the whole tail section is identical between each of the three scooters. Uh, but the Tech, they, they kind of took it a step further in the design to you know to kind of uh, give a few additional advantages uh, for different types of divers. Uh, first of all, and as the name would imply, tech scooter, it's very well set up for technical diving. Uh, it's, it has a deeper depth rating uh, than the travel does. And on top of that, the, the trim, uh, this is a scooter that you can actually trim out both perfectly neutral as well as completely flat, uh, so it hangs in the water. So as a tech diver, if you're down there, you've got lots of extra gear clipped off on you. You've got enough to kind of deal with without having a scooter that you're 
you might be fighting the buoyancy or the trim on as well. So it's very nice to have a scooter like this that just sits flat, very easy to manage. Uh, for me, as an underwater videographer, it has the additional option that that, uh, that it gives you that you can actually, you know, attach a video platform system to this and use it uh, shooting video. So having a scooter that you can trim out, it's very nice for that. You can have the ability uh, to add those extras, the camera, the lights, anything you need to the outside of the scooter and get it set up so the whole thing floats trim and flat. Uh, makes for a very useful video platform. Uh, with the black tips, as uh, uh, we're talking about, the motor and the drive uh, being quite uh, quite silent. Uh, when when I'm shooting video off of uh, black tip uh, video platform, having the ability to uh, you know, scooter alongside uh, sensitive animals um, like uh, you know, sharks and rays and film them while scootering without uh, without that interference of the noise uh, of the scooter is a very nice feature to have. Yeah, so um, after hearing all that, who would you say would benefit the most from using this scooter and what is it most geared for? So going from, uh, you know, from technical divers, uh, obviously, but as well as recreational divers. And this, this is a little bit heavier scooter than the travel, but the learning curve on it is not quite as steep. You know, because it floats, once you have it adjusted and trimmed out with the batteries that you're gonna be using. So it gives some advantages for both recreational as well as technical divers. Uh, you know, it's one of the better uh, all around scooter options, I would say for most uh, diving applications. Awesome. All right, now we've got the black tip exploration that we're gonna be looking at. So the exploration is definitely much more uh, targeted in the type of diver that, that would be looking at this scooter. Um, as you can see, it's much longer than either of the other two options. In fact, its body is essentially two travel bodies put together end to end. It does have twice the battery range though. So instead of having two, up to two 12 amp hour batteries, you can have up to four in this scooter. Uh, that adds weight, obviously, um, but because it is the body is in a two-piece, you can still break it down. It does still, you know, pack away into a relatively compact uh, setup. So, you know, really, if you're looking at which scooter you want to buy, uh, this one's going to be, you know, for those people that are looking to go, you know, much further distances, um, you know, maybe cave penetration or just. You know, some extremely long uh, scooter runs, uh, getting out to the wreck or something from shore. Uh, so it's major benefit, you know, on top of what it shares with the tech as far as its trimmability uh, and its usefulness as a camera platform is that additional range. So with uh, any of the black tips, you've got your, uh, your battery options to give you whatever specific uh, runtime that you need. This just gives you, you know, two additional battery slots that you can fill to get yourself uh, you know, quite a lot of uh, distance. Sweet, sounds good. So that's a quick rundown of each of our black tip scooter models. We also offer individual black tip body tube kits as well. So if you're starting out in diving or you're starting out in scooter diving, uh, as your uh, diving experience and your dive equipment needs progress and change over time, you can actually trade between different body kits, uh, both you know, to get into different types of diving uh, that have different scooter needs and trading back and forth uh, depending on the dive needs uh, and scooter needs of the dive that you're doing that day. Yep. Exactly. And uh, if you're interested in checking out our flagship Piranha scooter line as well, feel free to do that on our website. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Um, from me and Aaron and all of us at Dive Extras, happy diving. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>